Hey peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name's Arietta and today I've got a Friday finish for you. So those of you that have been following along on my Instagram will have seen a couple of posts of this item. What I'm showing you today is the finished evening bag from Spell Queen. I'm just gonna put the chain down because the chain's really noisy. <laughs> so this is it all finished and I have sort of packed it to see what I could get in for a night out assuming I was going somewhere nice um, that required a lovely little evening bag like this so we'll look at the content and then we'll talk a little bit about how I made it so unpopper it and you can see inside I have packed it full of the sort of things you might take out with you on an evening. Um, headphones, uh, keys, I've got travel card, which obviously you can know, put your other cards in there as well, that's a little card wallet. And then I've got glasses case. So. The only thing I didn't put in here was my phone, and that's because I needed my phone for recording. So, obviously, discount headphones, add phone. You could you could probably fit a fair amount in here. You can see the sort of size. I think if I was going to use it regularly, I might look at adding a little cloth lining, um, just because I wouldn't want things, particularly sort of keys and stuff, to get caught on the ribbons. Um, but it's pretty sturdy. It's got two magnet clasps for shutting it. So, and as you can see, it holds plenty for a night out. Now let's talk about how I got around to making it. Okay, so as you will have seen from my unboxing, which I will link up in the eye for those of you that want to go back and watch it, this is the instructions that came with the kit. Um, there are many colours available. Um, so these were the instructions, which obviously not in English, um, which was a little bit tricky for me. I did have a go at using Google Translate to work it out, but to be honest, wasn't much help. However, I just looked at the pictures, figured it out myself, um, from looking at these images and then just looking at, okay, what does the finished bag look like? What do I need to make sure has been done? Um, so it was just really a, a, a bit of experimentation and hoping for the best. Um, what I did find made it much easier was that I did all of the main section of the the weaving or knitting first um, and then I did these side sections and then sewed up these sides to keep it together and um, then did the edging all around with this sort of circling around. I tried to keep the amount of knots that I was using to a minimum mostly working on just the friction of the fabric and tucking in any loose ends. Um, this is made using two strands of ribbon at the same time. So we've got our roll of pink and our roll of white. And literally, oops, put that one upside down. Where's the end of you? Where is the end? There we go. So yeah, so you would just take the pink end and the white end together. Um, thread that through the large eyed needle and then work with it that way. I tended to cut off maybe sort of three meters at a time to work with. You don't want it too long because it tends to get tangled, but also you don't want to have to keep stop starting so you don't want it too short. As you can see, so much left. The only thing in the pictures 
that I haven't done is in the images, if you look closely here, you can see that they have also wound ribbon through the shoulder chain. Um, I haven't done that yet because I wasn't sure that I wanted to. Um, but even if I was to do that, there's no way it would take this much ribbon. So I'm definitely going to have plenty left over whatever I decide to do. Um, the fastenings, you can see, are just, uh, they just sort of have a folded over bit. I tried to push them in as firm as possible and just, yeah, when working out where the magnetic clasps go, it's just a matter of lining them up, checking the placement before fully committing to where they were going to go. Um, I'm really pleased with how this came out. It took me a couple of evenings, I guess, of working on it. And it was a really nice thing to do because it was very self-contained. I could go sit on the sofa. I could, you know, it was, there were no, no sharp needles or, you know, it was just the mesh form, the ribbon and the plastic needle that it came with didn't need anything else so I really liked it um would make a fabulous gift as I always say I'm always looking for things that can be gifted because I only have so much room in my house for my own crafts um currently uh I'm sure in my unboxing I probably had UK prices currently on the website it's showing up at $25.49 for the kit which I think is perfectly reasonable. All I will say is just be aware that the instructions could be a little clearer. Um, for instance, there's nothing in these printed instructions about how to fit the, um, the clasps. So it was just a matter of looking at a picture, making a best guess. <laughs> but um, I'm quite happy with how it's all come out. And um, yeah, I hope to do another one at some point. There are some beautiful colours. Um, I think I'm, you can get it in black and I think that would be infinitely usable. Um, there's also a lilac one and I'm a sucker for anything purple. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave this here. Please do remember if you enjoy my content, then to leave a like, share with a friend, subscribe, become a member of the Crafty Coven and I will see you in the next video. Stay crafty!